have encountered a lot of players, especially new players that just buy a top tier vehicle and they do not know how to use it. They don't even have their keybinds even set up. They don't understand what's going on. They just think, okay, playing go whoosh. I do my thing. It's actually kind of not. And if you're dying a lot, this video might help you a little bit. Plus, once you know how to do things with your plane, you're going to get extra kills, blah, 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 more grind. Happy you. In this video specifically, I'm going to tackle the control side of things. Yes, the boring stuff, but it's a necessary boring stuff. So yeah, I made it to include everything almost for a new player without overloading your brain with unnecessary junk to make this very very clear follow this tutorial it has the basic set of keys you will never have to ever mess around with them ever again deal good so like i said let's make this a little bit easy for you guys and this is the process you're going to go into your controls press in radar and basically you're going to put in your lock buttons for me like uh, to lock planes I don't know which key i said them both so it's mouse five for me which is on the side of my mouse another key that you need to set up is change radar irst mode i have it on seven and basically uh radar irst within visual range beyond visual range stuff that's basically your radar and how you set it up other keys i will get it like get into later and i will tell you what those do but for now we have ourselves the radar and you can switch it to your basic radar capabilities in here we have pulse doppler hdn which means pulse doppler head on it's a much better radar type you can say to use against people that are coming directly towards you that hdn part and then you have the num uh, or the zero and this will give you acm and basically this is lock and shoot kind of thing or point your plane and lock type of thing it's really good if you're trying to lock people that are a little bit tricky to lock another thing that you can do is press zero another time and you can have this this is specific to planes that have hmd like the f4s right here and the mig 29 and the f141 but as you can see it's locked it's good perfect and i'll showcase it even more you're going to go to your controls again and which this leads us to the second part and you're going to type type in weapon now for our uh, weapon controls we want to have switch primary weapons and switch secondary weapons and fire secondary weapons basically i have them on num7 num8 and alt really easy basically your alt key once you have your uh, weapon selected or whatever kind of key that you've chosen it's going to fire the uh, selected weapon so if we approach this guy right here change to our radar guided missile everything is red we send it in it's very simple really easy boom it's as easy as that and in here you can see the uh, hmd uh, working and you can point it at planes and log them in as you please uh, you need to catch them on the radar first but you can use your ir missiles just like this and there you go really easy really efficient not a lot of keys involved as for the other keys of the radar i'll go over them really really quick basically change between radar and irst that works on russian planes because they have an infrared type of radar that they can use changing your search mode will basically make your radar look for a wider angle or a smaller angle i'll show that and change radar irst scope scale controls the range of your radar in there there you have the other part and basically that's that's about it another plane that people really like to buy is the big 23 ml and a lot of planes don't know how to do a lot of things on this aircraft um yes it gets access to radar guided missiles however they're extremely inefficient compared to the r24 d's that it gets here you're going to see how i'm going to basically use this plane and it requires an extra set of keys if we go into controls and we go into uh wing sweep basically you have a switch wing sweep mode you need a key for that and then wing sweep itself and you're going to switch well, like select the keys and switch relative control 
on. It's important that you switch relative control on because if you don't, your value will not change. It will go to 100. As soon as you release the key, it will jump back to 50 and you don't want that. And here it is an application. You press that button. You do that and the wing speed sweep is on 100%. Really cool, huh? Now you say, why is the wing sweep on 100%? It's really, really easy. Wing sweep 100% equals you going faster. Wing sweep 0% equals you dogfighting better because the wings will extend outwards and will allow you to turn in because of the extra generated lift that they are providing compared to the other wings the weapon selection thing works exactly the same on this aircraft you just need to be in range of the aircraft of course don't shoot your ir missile at this range but this is just a demonstration you lock you shoot that's it bye bye you wait for the kill one of the other planes that people like to buy is on the french tech tree and this is the mirage one f c i don't know dude too many mirages in the game, a lot of mirages in the game, just waiting for a Rafale to be added in. Concept stays the same, but Silent A, why did you choose this plane if the concept stays the absolute same? This plane has a lot of flares and take advantage of them. And you say, how? Okay, let's say that you're in a dogfight, right? And for you to successfully evade an IR missile, you need to uh, turn and turn off that afterburner at the same time. I turn in even though that I have web on. I just hold my web, which is my W key. Look at this. And if I release the web key, it will basically reduce my throttle. I can go back to afterburner mode pretty efficiently pretty easy and all of that jazz if you don't want to bother with that and you have a lot of layers like this you can just uh, type in periodic uh, countermeasures release and basically you can press that button continue on with your dogfight let's say somebody is behind you you're doing your thing you turn off your afterburner you put it on again and life is amazing look at that fantastic for this to actually work you need your throttle settings to be on your mouse wheel and you need your countermeasures to be binded on the mouse wheel itself and basically that's about it a little bit of an honorable mention here let's say it like that is this key right here and on some planes this feature is turned off by default so let's use it it's called ballistic computer you see these you see those set them up what does ballistic computer do here's the beautiful thing let's select our bombs using the keys that we discussed a little bit earlier and you see that on the ground on some planes that's turned off by default so you need to turn it on ballistic computer on it also works for your guns and basically you can drop your bomb however you please and like it's really really that simple ballistic controls also work for rockets so you can spam your rockets on whatever type of thing that you're trying to spam them on simple thing use the keys with that we discussed earlier or you can go in here and type in salvo and fire rocket salvo needs to be set up and yeah basically that's about it when you fire your rocket salvo it's going to launch all of your rockets at the same time basically so yeah you can do it like that let's say that you don't want to fire a couple of rockets you send them all in boom basically that's about it all the key binds have been set up any other key binds you have to look for yourself i guess but these are the main ones and i hope that you enjoyed the uh, video itself i'll make another guide on how to use those key binds and implement them with tactics in top tier so expect that pretty soon and yeah good luck flying and practice those keys because practice 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 and you shall basically engrave those keys into your muscle memory and it becomes a very very simple thing to do that said guys see you on the next one